and welcome to Spink. At 5pm on the evening of Thursday the 12th of June, Spink has the notable privilege of offering a sale of important stamps and covers of the world. Included in the auction are items from the Royal Philatelic Collection, never previously available at public auction. Most notably Lot 5, the Exeter Treasury Competition essay, estimated at 10 to 12,000 pounds. The entire sale consists of 118 lots, with a total sale estimate of approximately 1.7 million pounds. We very much hope to see you there. This is a very important item, not come to the market before by public auction, and it's a Perkins Bacon ink recipe sheet, and this has been taken out of the Perkins Bacon uh, record book. And alongside each of these stamps, it has the, uh, the recipe written down of how the printer arrived at the colour that, was, that is seen printed on the page. It's estimated at 50 to 60,000. Lot 14 in the auction. Uh, this is another another item that's never been offered by public auction before. This is the 1841 Penny Red Brown. Uh, it's a block of 55. Um, this was originally discovered by a guy called uh, Mr. Alexander Gordon, who worked for the the Duke of Buccleuch at the Dalkeith Palace, and he had to do an inventory of uh, some of the items in the palace. And when he was doing uh, an in inventory in the library, on one of the many tables, there was this uh, leather travelling writing set. And upon opening the writing set, amongst other items, were, was, was this block, um, uh, along with a, a, another large block of um, 1840 Tuppany Blues. Then we have something which we've been honoured to sell a few items from the Royal Philatelic Collection. And Lot 18, this is a Prince Consul's essay from 1850. Uh, it's a penny in black, perforated. And this is estimated to fetch six to 8,000. Another two items also from the Royal Philatelic Collection are Lots 25 and 26. And now these are the 1871 Ormond Hill Tuppence die proofs. Uh, the first one's in brownish orange and the second in chrome yellow. Um, I believe we've, these are unique uh, and each one is estimated at 10 to 12,000. From the Falkland Islands we have lot 68 and this is the 1933 centenary issue in blocks of four, uh, imprint blocks of four to be more precise and extremely rare in blocks anyway. Uh, these are estimated to fetch 25 to 30,000. Then we have uh, Malaya and Strait Settlements and this is lot 89 and this is the 1910 MCA watermark $500 purple and orange and this is a postage and revenue stamp in, in mint condition. Uh, it has a catalogue value of 110,000 and our estimate is conservatively set at 55 to 65,000. It's, this particular stamp has graced some very famous collections, uh, notably the Burris Collection in 1964 and the Edward Gilbert uh, Collection which was sold by Spink in 2005. And then we have Norway. Uh, this is lot 104. It's an outstanding first issue cover bearing a strip of six of the foreskin in blue. Um, and this is estimated to fetch 20 to 25,000. And then latterly in the sale we have Victoria and this is lot 115 and this is uh, a previously unrecorded um, example. It was uh, discovered by one of our clients and this is the 1856 large star queen on the throne one penny yellow green. And it's uh, showing two part strikes of the uh, the well-known um, Roland Hill cancelled hand stamp. Um, this is estimated at 12 to 15,000. So, as you can see, there's some quite exciting and rare items available, uh, some for the first time, and we expect them to do exceedingly well when they finally come under the hammer.